Welcome to my live Facebook Marketplace case study where I will be showing you guys step by step everything that I'm doing on my Facebook Marketplace dropshipping account, every product that I'm selling, where I'm getting it from, how much I'm profiting, and everything else that comes along with it. 100% transparency, I will not be blurring anything in these videos and it will be done on a daily basis. So you will see day by day how my Facebook Marketplace account is growing and everything that I'm doing inside. I haven't seen this being done anywhere else, so enjoy this valuable content. Quick intro and let's go. Hello everyone and once again welcome to day one for the live Facebook Marketplace dropshipping case study. In this case study I will show you everything that I'm doing on my Facebook Marketplace dropshipping account starting from scratch. The first thing that I already did on my Facebook Marketplace dropshipping store is that I added 20 products. I don't have any sales yet this is still the first day I just added them to the system now and I want to show you guys exactly how I did that with the help of virtual assistants. So I have a virtual assistant on this Facebook Marketplace place dropshipping store and the reason that I have my VA is because I simply do not have the time to add these products every day to my store even though the process is really really simple and really really quick let me show you how my virtual assistant added the first product to the Facebook marketplace store I asked her to record the process and I will show you guys everything else that you need to know so for now I only have 20 products on my Facebook marketplace store this is day one I'm waiting for the first sell Maybe in the next case study, I will already tell you guys the good news. So here's everything that I did so far. Before I begin showing you how to import products, I advise you guys to download and install the Facebook Marketplace Dropshipping Helper Chrome extension. It will help you guys import your products really easily from your suppliers to AutoDS and then from AutoDS to your Facebook Marketplace Dropshipping account. So get that extension. And here is the first product that I added to my Facebook Marketplace store. So it's this product from Amazon, these cooling towels. And here is exactly how my virtual assistant added this product to my store. The first thing that you need to do is take the product's URL. I can use the import to AutoDS button that you see here. This is available from the AutoDS Chrome dropshipping extension, not to be mistaken by the Facebook Marketplace dropshipping helper. It's two different extensions. So just write AutoDS helper on Google and it will take you to this extension, which helps you import your products quickly to AutoDS. Then you'll have the Facebook Marketplace dropshipping extension, which will help you import your products quickly from AutoDS to your Facebook Marketplace account. And that's the whole structure. That's how you can import products really quickly and save a lot of time Time while you're doing it so as I mentioned this is the first product that I added to my Facebook marketplace store and how am I finding the products to add to my Facebook marketplace dropshipping store here's exactly how I'm doing it because the Facebook marketplace is an untapped marketplace you don't have any competition the only thing that you need to do in order to get sales is to add products to your store but products that are selling well that are proven good best sellers from your suppliers products that have good reviews and try to find products that are trending right now, not, not products that trended half a year ago, a year ago, and so forth. So one good place to do it is to head to amazon.com. And by the way, you can work with any one of AutoDS's supported suppliers. So we got over 25 suppliers that you can work with today. Amazon is only one on the list. So here is how I do it on Amazon. I tell my virtual assistant to simply go to Amazon's movers and shakers and get products from there, also from best sellers. Okay, so if I click on best sellers over here, you'll see that we'll have a Movers and Shakers link. Movers and Shakers is the top trending products from the last 24 to 48 hours. So we're going to click on that. And from here, you can get products as long as you're staying in the right dropshipping categories. I have an article on that. What are the best categories to dropship from on the Facebook Marketplace? So I'll leave a link to that right below this video. So I'm just going to my suppliers, going to their best seller section, going to new releases from categories that I know that are selling well, and I'm simply adding those products to my store optimizing the title a little bit, optimizing the product description a little bit, and that's all there is to it. So that's how I got to this item. How did I add it to my store? So you can click the import to AutoDS button here, as I mentioned before, this is the AutoDS Chrome helper extension, and this is the AutoDS Facebook dropshipping extension. So if I just click on this import to AutoDS button, it'll import quickly to the draft section of my store. Before I do that, I'll just click on this just to make sure that I got the right store selected on the AutoDS helper extension. So I'm going to deselect Best Shop USA and Nightlight Stars because those are eBay and Shopify stores and I'll only leave my Facebook store open right here. So once the store is selected, as soon as I click that import to AutoDS button, it will import to my AutoDS Facebook store 
and from AutoDS Facebook, I will import the product to the Facebook Marketplace. I can also do it another way by copying the URL up here, then heading to the AutoDS platform. Then on the left side, I'll click on Add Products. Here, I'll make sure to only select my Facebook store. And here, I will add that product URL. So that's another way of doing it. There's also a third way of doing it by adding multiple products to your store by each simply taking the AutoDS extension and grabbing all of the item details that you have on a certain page, extract them, export as a CSV, and then import that CSV file by clicking on Upload CSV right here. So for now, this is what I did just to add it as a draft section to my store. Now, once the draft ended up here on the draft section of my AutoDS store, you're going to head to the draft section, get that product, click on that arrow to open up the item editor, and then you're going to hover over the copy button in the variance column. So click on variants, see that copy button and click on it. And as you see here, in just a couple of seconds, it will say copy to clipboard. Now what you're going to do is head over to Facebook, click on the marketplace and on the left side, click on create new listing and then click on item for sale. Now on the left side, you'll notice a paste info from AutoDS button. This is going to paste all of the information that you copied from the variance column on the draft section of AutoDS. So as you see here, we click on that button and now all of the product's information is slowly being transferred from AutoDS to your Facebook Marketplace store. Now back to AutoDS, you can start to optimize the product's title, delete all kinds of keywords that are irrelevant, make sure that you have up to 100 letters as you can see here. So you want to delete all the keywords that are not relevant, keep the keywords that are good for this product. And then once you got that title, simply copy it and paste it back on the Facebook Marketplace. And of course, save your variant settings. So now we're back to the Facebook Marketplace and as you can see, all of the images got loaded. Now we are optimizing the title. So we pasted the title that we copied from AutoDS. You've got the product's price, which was done with AutoDS's break-even setting. So go to your settings, look at the pricing settings for your Facebook store and set the right break-even and your profit margin. Now, under the product's description, you might have some spacing issues. So make sure to space out your description correctly, just like it's being done right here. And make sure that the product description simply looks good so that your customers will want to read it. They will understand what's going on and they won't have a whole bunch of text bunched up together, which simply doesn't look good. Now we're going to scroll down a little bit, put in the item specifications, like what category it belongs to and so forth. Then you're going to click on next. Here we got the shipping method. You want to use your own shipping label and use shipping and local pickup or just shipping. The shipping options is very important. If you do not have shipping options, then the 50 states in the US will simply not see your listing and you're not going to get so many views and so many sales. If you want to have the shipping options, you have to reside in the United States. If you're an international seller, you will not have the shipping options. And then the Facebook marketplace won't be that relevant to you, unfortunately, at this time. But I will keep you guys updated for when that changes and when international sellers can also benefit from shipping to the US on the Facebook marketplace and get all those views. Now, as you see here, we've got the listing. It looks good. And on the left side, you can see a notification that the item was listed. I'm going to click on your listings and here you can see that listing that I just imported from AutoDS. So this is one of the first few products that we added to the Facebook Marketplace store. Now let me show you all of the products that I added, all from the same supplier, all from the same method. In the next videos, I'm also going to use different dropshipping suppliers because we do need to have shipping methods that are compatible with Facebook. Facebook wants to see UPS, FedEx, and one more, if I'm not mistaken, it's DHL. It's all written there. So you want to use suppliers that can give you that type of shipping labels, that kind of tracking information. So after repeating the process for the first 20 products on my store, this is how our store looks like right now. Here is the AutoDS screen. As you can see, I'm clicking on products and you can see that I have 20 products on my store. And as you can see, all of the products that you can see here on AutoDS on the product screen is all of the products that you can also see on my Facebook Marketplace account. One more thing before you get started, make sure that you've got the Facebook Marketplace plan added to your subscription. So head to settings, plans and add-ons, and make sure that the Facebook Marketplace plan has been enabled. Then you know that you can start dropshipping on the Facebook Marketplace and I wish you the best luck at that. That sums up day one of the case study of my Facebook Marketplace dropshipping store. I hope you, that you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for day two. I'm sure that this case study is going to be very, very interesting. See you there.